Next up is Lacey Collins. <laughs> Addie Cardwell will be cutting her hair today. <laughs> Lacey is dirtying her hair in honor of every woman that has ever battled this disease. She believes that if they have enough courage to fight for their lives every day, she should have the courage to cut her hair. She hopes her hair will make a, make a wig for a beautiful, strong woman. This is also for her aunt who survived cancer after fighting it for two years and lost all of her hair to chemotherapy. Let's get a drum roll. Okay, next up, Catherine Cook. <laughs> Gretchen Hass will be uh, from Hobart High School. Will be um, cutting her hair today. Um, Catherine is um, cutting her hair for every woman that looks in the mirror, and for all she and all she sees is cancer. So she's donating eight inches of her hair so they can see the beauty that you and I see. Stephen Dula. <laughs> Sisters, Melissa and Carol Lee will be cutting Stephen's hair. <laughs> you only get one, you have to take turns. <laughs> okay, um, this is for all the mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters that have had their battle with the daily disease called cancer. Some have survived with their willpower to keep pushing on. Others, their willpower, kept their spirit and loved ones closest to their hearts than ever before until the battle was lost. I want to give my hair to someone that needs the support of a gift. Not just any gift, but the gift of not looking like the soldier fighting in the battlefield, but, but to look like a regular citizen appreciating the life that was given to them. I want my hair to be given to someone that appreciates it more than me.
Next up, Tess Eastep. Leah Eastep and Dina Martin will be cutting Tess's hair. Tess's daddy can hear her in memory of her Aunt Michelle, who died of breast cancer one year ago today, and to her grandmother, who is currently undergoing chemotherapy for breast cancer. Dang it. I love you. <laughs> she says I love you. I love her too. <laughs> Show cancer who the boss really is. I hope my locks filled with love will become handy pieces of armor during the long battle. Let's give her a hand. cancer again and still fought it off and is okay. Now I'm doing this for her. I told myself that I was going to do this, and I'm so glad that I finally have the opportunity. 
She is a very nice lady, and I'm happy that she won her battle with cancer. My dedication goes to her. needs it much more than I do. I'm cutting my hair for my good friends Wanda Reed, Mary Ellen Benfield, and Mark Shearer. I'm also cutting it for my longtime friend Dottie Mackey who is still fighting this battle for many years. This is for everyone out there who has lost their hair because maybe they love their hair as much as I've grown to love mine. God has blessed me and I want to pass on this wonderful blessing with love. All right. giving to Pantene Beautiful Links, which is eight inches of hair, but both go to exactly the same cause, which is making wigs for people that, that have lost their hair for different diseases, not just cancer. Um, and so um, I'm going to cut my hair today, too. And, um, <laughs> I'll take Miss Groban up here, but I'll take two more helpers since I have three. <laughs> Bravely today is donating her hair for her grandmother, <laughs> Barbara Story, and in memory of Brenda Bolick.